where we're going. They said no lights. <sighs> Smell paranoia. For God's sake, Teddy. No, Mark, covered by workers' comp. If you drive us into a telephone Look, call. Look, would you just relax? All right, you're really starting to make me nervous. Join the club. Teddy, will you just shut up and bring the bloody camera? If that noble bear, I must not wait. Get the money? Yep. You can count it if you like. That thing on? Not yet. All right, don't point at me, all right? Wide shots only, scouts on her. And no names? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Get that hose attached to the mains. Now, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So how long have you been tapping into the water mains? About a year. Ever been caught? No. Who buys your water? <sighs> Garden nurseries, industrial people. Whatever, really. People with pools. Do you ever feel guilty? Because so many people have so little water. We've got as much right to this water as anyone else. Come on! Yeah. All right, all right, go! Here in Western Sydney, stolen water can be sold on the black market for up to ten times its normal retail price. With the economy in decline and unemployment rising, it's to be expected that the incidence of water theft will only increase. Who is that? Western Europe, cyclonic conditions continue to wreak havoc, causing catastrophic flooding and mudslides in France, Spain and Portugal. Hey, you shafted me. I saved your ass. You gave up my sources. Those contacts were made in confidence. You went out there without my approval. I was if you'd have given it. Come Damn on. Damn right. You are paying them, for God's sake. Oh, I'm sorry. And you've never, ever paid for a story before? I've never paid criminals to show me how to break the law. Jesus wept. Gavin, look. Water is the story of the century, OK? Did you know it costs 450% more to drink a glass of water today than it did even five years ago, and it is still heading north? There is something very wrong with the way water is being delivered in this town. Uh-huh. Well, go out and look for yourself. Go out west, Parramatta and beyond. Everything's dying. OK, so people living on the coast can afford the fines better than people living in the west. Hold the front page. There is something else going on here. Yeah, what's that? I don't know yet. Susan, wake up, for Christ's sake. If you want a story, work out what the bloody hell it is first. Then find someone who knows what they're talking about to nail their colours to your mast. Paying a couple of unemployed wasters to show the world how to steal water is just pissing in the wind. Okay? Okay. You get that for free. I think we're done. Hey, that guy. Kind of guess. David. Susan Shapiro. Did you make a special trip out here to buttonhole me? It's not so special. It's on my way home. I'm sure there are other people you could harass. People actually deal with the water supply. Yeah, and if I hear the words commercial incompetence one more time, I'll rip out my own liver. You look bigger on TV. Look, I just... Just let me ask you one thing. How do you think the city's water shortage is going to affect the fire service? My report's going to air tonight. I thought I'd give you one last chance to contribute. Look, Miss Shapiro, uh, Susan, sometimes things aren't about conspiracy. It's simply about the weather. And shit happens when good men do nothing. Bring water from Warragamba Dam, Sydney's main source of drinking water, to the Prospect Filtration Plant. Today, the dam is at less than 10% of its capacity. Now, this raises very serious questions about the level of water scarcity in this city. The quality of 
the water at the base of the dam is likely to be contaminated with whatever has sunk to the bottom over many years. Oh, Susan, yeah. nice to meet you. Premier, thank you very much for making the time. Oh, it's a pleasure. I like meeting smart women who lift the standards of the usual muck. Politics and journalism aren't so different that way. Um, now, Daniel Shapiro was your father, wasn't he? Did you know him? Oh, he was one of my anthropology lecturers many years ago. Oh. He was a wonderful man. Thank you. So, look, please take a seat. Um, would you like a cup of tea or...? Oh, uh... no, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, my cameraman and sound recorders are in the foyer. Should I ask them to come in? Oh, yeah, yeah, shortly. Look, I just want to put a few things on the table first. Now, water is difficult. It's something people feel entitled to, like air. I'm sure you know it's a business that's making politicians prematurely grey all across the country, myself included. Now, mistakes have been made. I freely acknowledge that. Do those mistakes have anything to do with the lack of water in the west of the city? Well, it's important that we don't use the remaining water that we have too quickly. That's what the restrictions are about. That's why we built the desal plant. Together, they're an insurance policy against drought. Fostering panic leaves a stain that won't wash out. You're a bright young woman. You don't need to go there. Well, I'm not interested in creating panic. Good. Neither am I. Now, here is the latest analysis of our drinking water from the health department. There you go. As you can see, it's safe as it's ever been. So drink up. It's on the house. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, the, the current restrictions are tough on everyone, but we need to tackle this She's problem. No as use something it. fierce. What is that supposed to mean? I almost got my face shot off by the water patrol. Yeah. So that you could dig into what's really going on with all this water crap, and then you get your big chance and you turn into Oprah bloody Winfrey. Hey, look, I am the only journalist to have had an interview with the Premier in over 18 months. Really? Okay, yeah, that's my big chance. Suze, how'd you go? Good, we're just cutting it now. Okay, they can wait. We've got a fire in Borkham Hills. Teddy, you two. You know what? Let's just move in together and be done with it. Oh, come on.